Hi, I'm Larry Troca. We're gonna uh, do a little deal on, on uh, teaching your horse to lope slow on loose rein. And I'm gonna go ahead and lope this horse. Um, this is a, uh, a top-notch cutting horse right here. Real good athlete, a um, lot of athletic ability, a uh, lot of fire, a lot of sting, a lot of good things about him for the cutting pen. He is by no means a deadhead. But you're gonna watch him lope really, really slow on a loose rein, and I've not warmed him up at all. I mean, he's, he hasn't been on the walker, I haven't loped him already, he's 100% fresh. And when you see him lope real slow, kinda of pay attention to what I'm doing with my reins and my body, because I'm not doing anything, other than just sitting there nice and relaxed. He got this way, nobody taught him to lope slow. He, he learned to lope slow, because when we'd go to a cutting show and loping him to get the edge off of him, preparing him to show, he just learned that he had to lope for a long period of time and he better conserve himself. So he just started loping slower and slower. And your horse will do the same thing too if you're consistent with it, but you gotta lope him for a long period of time. And it may take, you know, 10 rides, 20 rides of loping a long period of time to get the idea across, but once they've got it, they've got it, and they don't want to lope fast anymore, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and lope this guy, and uh, you'll see what I mean. Now I don't care what lead he takes, uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna put him right into the lope. Now I've got my legs on him. I actually have to urge him to get him to lope, <laughs> to, to keep him loping. If I quit riding him, if I let my legs relax, he just stops, okay? I'm gonna lope off the other way. Put a little right leg on him to get him to pick up the left lead. Take my legs off of him, just let him relax, and he comes to a stop. So the only reason he's doing that is because he knows if he acts like he's got a whole bunch of energy and lopes fast, he might be out here loping for 30 minutes, okay? Uh, and this is a really smart horse, so he figured that out real quick, okay? So if you're at home, and you've got your horse and, he's, and he wants to lope fast all the time, go ahead and, and put him in a small area, like an arena. If you don't have an arena, that's okay. Just do it out in the pasture. But keep him in a small area. Lope, lope some small circles. Keep it small. And lope him until he gets tired. And, you know, if he's not in good shape, now I want you to really pay attention to this. Really pay attention to this because this is important. If your horse is not in good shape, not in good physical condition, meaning legged up, you know, in shape, like an athlete, if you lope him for a long period of time, you risk fatiguing his suspensory ligaments and his deep um, flexor tendons, okay? So what you need to do to protect them from, from getting fatigued and hyperextending and either bowing a tendon or, or, or straining a, a, a suspensory, you need to wrap that horse with polo wraps and do a figure eight wrap around the bottom of the fetlock, or a better option is to purchase a set of Iconoclast support boots. Iconoclast support boots are the only boots at this point in time that really work right. Uh, they'll keep that fetlock, if your horse gets a little fatigued, It'll keep that fetlock from dropping down too far and hyperextending and pulling tendons and ligaments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel.
Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.